Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering the new features of Open SQL. And in the last video, we covered that now you can go for arithmetic expressions in the query itself. So in the previous video, what we did, if we don't know the new features of Open SQL, you need to bring that data on the application layer and you need to write the logic or you need to go for arithmetic expressions based upon your requirement on the application layer. So firstly, what we will do, we will understand this in the debugging mode. Are we getting a expected output or not? Then we will completely replace this logic by using the new features of open SQL. So I will put a breakpoint. I will run this particular program. I will check from the table. What are the values we need to put? So now we will go for these three things. Airline code, flight number and flight date. Suppose airline code AA. Flight number, this is the flight number. And this is the flight date. We are passing all the three things. You are passing all the three primary keys. It means we will get a single dedicated record. It means whenever the data will fetch, we will get 385, 367, 31 and 30. Because we passed all the three primary keys. I am executing. And we will go for text of three most preferable text of. Now we are passing all the three things. Now, if you see this work area, this work area is blank. System will fetch that data of these four columns and data will come into this work area. You can see we have that data. Now we are going for vacant seats in the economic class and business class. So it will simply subtract 385 minus 367, 30 minus 31 minus 30. These are the values. Correct values are there. 385, 367, 31 and 30. So it will simply subtract. So firstly, we will get 18. This is your 18. And whenever we'll go for business class, we have only one vacant seat in the business class. And we got the expected result. Now just see if in this case, what we did, we fetch the data and after that, we arithmetic expression on the application layer. Now we will not go for arithmetic expression on the application layer. Here while fetching data itself, we will use the arithmetic expression. So what I will do, I'll firstly comment. I will comment this code. So only input is there. So whatever is required will take slowly. slowly. So now I will write a open SQL query based upon new features in which arithmetic expression are in the query itself. So I will write select single. Now, how you are going for seats in the economic class, how you are checking the seats into the vacant seats in the economic class, you are subtracting seats max and seats occupancy. So we will simply, simply write seats max minus seats occupancy. Simple. In the query itself, we are using arithmetic expression. And I will give it alias. Suppose I am saying as, suppose I will write this. Because this is your variable for the economic class. Okay, so we are going for this as LV underscore seats underscore E. It means the subtraction of this will assign to this. It will, the value will display under this particular thing. Now, now we will go for business class. How you are going? This is your business class. This is your seat, this is your occupancy in the business class. Now I will simply write as, but we want to go for suppose LV underscore seats underscore B. 
so in these two so your vacant seats of the economy class will display under this column your vacant seats under this business class will display under this particular column now you all know the separator between the columns is comma because this is one this is your nff so we gave the separator between the columns is comma because this is your one column and this is your another column now we will go for writing the logic from which table we want to fetch s flight we will directly store into work area. Into. You all know all host variables must be prefixed with at the rate. Now we are going for inline data declaration itself. So I will write at the rate data. LWA underscore data. Now we will go for three where conditions. Where? I'll copy these three where condition and will change based upon the new syntax. You all know all host variables must be prefixed with at the rate. At the rate. At the rate. Done. So you have the query there. Just see from the database itself, you are getting the vacant seats in economic class. You are getting the vacant seats in business class. Can we display? Yes, we can display. So I will simply, simply go for write statement. Just see, I'll copy this write statement. Now we will go for this. What is your work area? LWA data. And in work area, which column, which column has the vacant seats in the economic class? This is now we will go for another. This is your text hyphen zero zero one. Because now these two columns data are into this work area. This is your B. I will check the syntax and I will just see how easy it is. The role of application layer is nothing, just we are displaying. We are not doing anything on the application layer. The role of application layer is completely minimized. Just see if I will show you the output in the debugging mode so that we can understand how the data is in the work area. Airline, flight number, date. I will go for execute. I will go for desktop 3, most preferable desktop. You can see whenever I'm executing this query, if I will show you this work area, you can see in the work area, we have two columns. This is the alias we gave. This is the alias and same result from the database itself, nothing. And we are displaying this particular result. Just see how effective it is to write the code now. So what is the summary of this particular video? Firstly, I showed you the output in the debugging mode, it is working fine. Then after that, we simply replace this query based upon the new features of OpenSQL from the database itself. We are using the arithmetic expression in the query itself. So for this first one, we gave the alias this. For the second one, we gave the alias this. And we put the comma between the columns. We use the inline data declaration. All host variables must be prefixed with at the rate. Then I showed you in the debugging mode. In this work area, we have the value of X in vacant seats in economic class, vacant seats in the business class, and we are simply displaying the output. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.